What is up, guys? It's Super Ken for Super Ken Gaming from the channel. Please subscribe. Leave a comment saying hi, thumbs up, like the video already, share this video with your friends, and welcome to the draft for the week of July 18th, 2017. The draft is a weekly series where we go over every single game coming to PlayStation. We crown the game of the week, the game that feels most deserving of your cash moolah, the comment of the week, and give away some free games to so developers and publishers. If you have games you want to give to me to give away to this wonderful and beautiful audience. It's much appreciated. We've got 11 games to go over this week, but before we do that, a huge shout out to this week's commenter of the week, Jack F. And Jack F, I slid into those DMs with a code to Fable Fortune Beta, so enjoy that. Enjoy some Fable Fortune. If you want to be the commenter of the week and win some free games, all you have to do is leave comments on any of my videos. Comments help the channel grow, and of course... I appreciate them greatly. Every single game I'm about to go over comes out on July 18th, unless stated otherwise. There's less games than last week, but I feel like this is a much much stronger week than last week. Some A few games in here I actually hope I get review codes for. First, coming to PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation Vita Digital cross -buy, meaning if you buy it for one, you get it for the others for free, is 99 Vitas. 99 Vitas is a brawler set in a contemporary world that pays tribute to both classic and new games in the industry. Brought to you in 16-bit pixelated glory, chock full of references to not only gaming, but also 80s and 90s pulp culture. I'm gonna pass on this, though it looks good, it's just not my type of game. I'm not really into retro stuff, except for Shuffle Knight. Also coming to PlayStation VR Digital is Archangel. Step into the cockpit of a six-story mech and feel its might at your command. You are, the, you are the tip of the spear in the United States Free Forces war against the overwhelming mechanized forces of HUM, H-U-M-N-X. They're all capitalized. I'm just going to read the letters. A tyrannical corporation that rules a post-apocalyptic America. This game looks very generic, but it's for VR, so you get some generic shooting mech VR game. Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital is Children of Zodiacs, a story-driven tactical RPG set, into the, it's set in the fantasy realm of Loomis. You lost me at tactical RPG, this game does look cool. A world divided by affluence and poverty. Take control of Nami and her fellow outcasts, utilizing a brand new deck. Wait, what? You use a Utilizing a brand new deck and dice-based combat system to strike a blow to the noble lords and ladies. Unquenchable thirst for profit. I'm not a fan of games where luck gets involved, so you can get your dice and get out of here. Get your dice out of here, children of Zodiacs. Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital on July 21st is the first game in the, this list that I put in request for is Conga Master. The dance floor fills, the line gets longer, come on down, it's time to conga. Shake your virtual hips to the ridiculously fun arcade action of Conga Master as everyone fights to make the longest conga line possible. No rhythm required, anyone can conga. I hope, hope I get to get my conga on. Also coming to PlayStation Vita Digital is Fallen Legion Flames of Rebellion. Fallen Legion Flames of Rebellion is an intense action RPG where every battle is a heart pounding fight and each gut-wrenching choice impacts the realm. I don't have a Vita, so I'm not playing it. Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital is Fallen Legion Sin of an Empire. Now the the cover art looks a little... It looks exactly the same except for there's a, one character on the side that's different. So I'm not sure if these are different games or it... Well, ob obviously these are different games. The Vita version is going to be different than the console version, but I don't know how different if it's the same story or whatever. But th this this game looks cool. I'm gonna pass on it, just because I don't really want to put any time into this kind of game right now. If if I wasn't so busy trying to get through Persona 5, maybe in another parallel universe I'd be playing Fallen Legion: Sins of an Empire. It, look, it looks like a decent time. Actually, now that I'm look, never mind. I was gonna say something, but those are different people. Fallen Legion: Sins of an Empire is an intense action RPG where every battle is a heart pounding fight and gut-wrenching choice impacts the realm. So the sa same write-up, different titles, I'm guessing they're the same game, just a little different. Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital is Orcs Must Die Unchained. Slice them, burn them, skewer them, and launch them. No matter how you get it done, Orcs Must Die is the team-based fantasy tower defense game from Robot Entertainment. 
Looks like a decent game, but tower defense, not my, not my thing. Except for Plants vs. Zombies, I like that. Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital is Robot Riot Hyper Edition. Bigger than a nanite, smaller than a trash can, feister than, fe feistier than a vengeful princess. Jump puzzle. Wait, what? Jump puzzle and shoot through spaceships and their systems as vanguard robot slug. Raid vessels for your galactic debt collecting master in pristine 6-bit pixel perfection in this classically inspired 2D platformer. Also coming to PlayStation 4 Digital is a game I will be reviewing on July 21st is Super Hot. Super Hot is the first person shooter where time moves only when you move. When I move, you move. Just like that. Hey DJ, bring that back. No regenerating health bars. No conveniently placed ammo drops. It's just you. Outnumbered and outgunned. Grabbing the weapon. Weapons of fallen enemies to shoot, slice, and maneuver through a hurricane of slow motion bullets. Also coming to PlayStation VR Digital on July 21st is Super Hot VR. These these are two different games, two different experiences. So just because you played the regular Super Hot doesn't mean you can skip Super Hot VR and vice versa. If you liked one of them, give the other one a try if you can. Lose track of what's real. Commit yourself, body and mind. Confront the evocative elegantly brutal world of super hot vr enemies pouring into the room from all sides a dozen bullets coursing through the air wait something is different here something is different here i've heard this is probably the best vr game that's out right now so give super hot vr a try and finally coming to playstation vr coming to playstation not vr playstation 4 digital is Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles? I put in a request for this game as well, and the publishers have already got back with me saying I'm on the list, so hopefully I get a code. Jemia maintains the appearance of a paradise, yet an evil murk has enshrouded the land and its people in despair. As the hero of Yonder, you will explore Jemia and uncover the island's secret and mysteries within yourself. Hope I get a code for that game, but this week's game of the week, the game I feel is most deserving of your cash moolah. I'm going to give it to Super Hot VR. And the reason I'm giving it to Super Hot VR is I want to see VR succeed, and I've heard nothing but great things about Super Hot VR. And again, it's a different experience, different game than Super Hot. I'm excited to try Super Hot, though. See what all the fuss is about. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thumbs up if you like the video. Share this video with your friends. Comment on my video so you can win a free game. Thanks for watching. And of course, stay beautiful. If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to bring you reviews for all the newest games at patreon.com slash superkengaming. You'll get access to early audio and video versions of reviews, exclusive Let's Play videos, and you'll even get to choose the game I play next. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful.